Ken and Ellen. Good evening. We're Kent and Allen from Star 101.5 Radio. And they taught us at Como TV School that you always hold your hands like this when you're on camera. Do I have that right? You got it right. Okay. okay. Uh, we're here to honor a legend in broadcasting, Dick Curtis, for the Crystal Soundy Award. Hands back. Okay. Uh, Dick was the guy that actually got us our job here in Seattle, which makes us very excited. That was the only mistake he really made in a long, distinguished career in broadcasting. And the reason we're not there to introduce him is the guy we replaced some 25 years ago... Mm -hmm got fired after appearing at the Soundies yeah. because he made such a fool of himself, so we consider it a jinx. Yeah, we're not going to uh, chance that at no, all. No, not okay. at all. Mm -mm. Uh, all right, so let's take a look back at some of Dick Curtis's career, shall we? Welcome back to more of the Dick Curtis program on a Friday night. Stand by for part two of the battle. This is the sound you know is Honey, this is the sound that you've made number one. KJR. The Dick Curtis sing-along chorus. Only qualification you have to have is to have an extremely large lower lip. You take a hold of your lower lip right now, and with the other hand, you sort of just plunk it there. And, oh, that's good. Huh? All together now, everybody. You know KOL and all the DJs are booked up about three months ahead of time already for those KOL free pep assemblies. KOLs. Okay, Loggins, Vesita, KVI, is 821. Nice being here with you on the radio, Dick. It's been a long time, big guy. I'll tell you it has. It's 836 at KVI. Dick Curtis with Land Roberts. It's currently 67 degrees in Seattle on KVI Talk Radio 570. Well, I guess this is it. It's been quite a ride and a hell of a lot of fun the past 45 years, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I wouldn't trade you, the KVI listening audience, for anyone. I want you to keep on listening, and all I can say is thank you very, very much for making my life nearly perfect. So long, everybody. What an amazing career. Unbelievable. You know, most radio guys extend their stories by about 20%. They exaggerate. Dick has to tone them down because nobody will believe him. Remember the Led Zeppelin story? Oh, the horses in the swimming pool. Ask him to tell you about yeah, that. Good yeah. story. Good story. A guy who, believe it or not, has been around for six decades in Seattle radio. Started in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, retired in 2001. Can I move my hands now? You can. Let's have a warm welcome for Dick Curtis, your Crystal Soundy winner. Two guys could hold down a morning drive slot <clears throat> in a market the size of Seattle for over 20 years, so you get my vote. When I got out of the Air Force in the mid-50s, where I was a radio operator, I found a job with Northwest Airlines, also as a radio operator. The pay was $250 a month. I found out if I had a first-class radio operator's license, I could get a $300 a month check. So I enrolled in Tacoma Vocational School to secure a first home. Now it's, uh, I think it's called Bates Technical School. Anyway, while there, the instructor said, hey, you've got a good voice, ever think about being on the radio? I said, can you make more than $300 a month? <laughs> he said, sure. I was on my way. I left school a year early, checked into a boarding house in Sunnyside, Washington, took a job at KREW doing vacation relief work. My shift was from 2 in the afternoon until 10 o'clock at night, Eight hours on the air, the pay was, you guessed it, $300 a month. <laughs> Eventually, I was able to get beyond the $300 threshold, and during the next three years, I gained small market experience. In 1960, I arrived at KJR, the Northwest rock and roll giant at that time. It was there that my true love for radio was realized. Also, while I was there, I began my first venture into the concert business, along with my partner at the time, Pat O'Day. Together we started the first Northwest Rock and Roll Concert Promotion Company. Whether it was concert promoting, an artist management, or radio, I'm very fortunate to be able to say I've never had a day in those 45 years that I dreaded going to work. I loved radio from the beginning, and it never stopped. <clears throat> I want to take a brief moment to thank a couple of people. Is Pat here? Pat O'Day? I worked with Pat O'Day for many, many years, both with him and for him. Uh, Pat and I 
pass each other in broadcast school. We even go back to the same junior high school in Tacoma, although we didn't know each other at that time. At one point in my career, when I was between jobs, O'Day jumped on an airplane and flew to Dallas, Texas, to convince the principal in the company at the time to hire me. I've never forgotten that. A man who's not here but still in Palm Desert soaking up the sunshine, Shannon Sweat, who's the best general manager I ever had the pleasure of working for. Eric Dawes, who again and again encouraged the Saudi Selection Committee to uh, consider me for this honor, and to Kenton Allen for the same reason. To my family, some are with, them, are with me tonight. My stepson, Matt Etherton, whose radio name is Matt Shannon. He manages programs and entertains the family radio properties in Olympia and Centralia Chehalis Premier Broadcasting. To Tom Etherton, also a stepson of mine who's a firefighter and paramedic in the South Sound area and keeps the family properties from burning down. <laughs> and to his beautiful fiance, Cassie Folk. Thanks for being here tonight, Cassie. And to my biggest fan and my supporter, my wife, Connie, who was also my receptionist in the late 60s when I ran KOL. She went off and did her thing, had four incredible kids, and later we finally got together. She's put up with me for the last 16 wonderful years, and I may have been her boss for a couple of years, but she got even. <laughs> to the Puget Sound Radio Broadcasters Association and to all of you here tonight, thanks for thinking of me, and thanks from the bottom of my heart for this award. It means much more than you know.